For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use PDFs and images to turn in your assignments and making sure you're turning in the right thing. So I'm in my example one. I'm going to go into my modules because that's where all our work is listed. And I've made this assignment tutorial to show you guys how to do those steps. I'm going to go ahead and use the arrow to make that full screen so you can see everything. Remember all your information about the assignments here, you know, due date, what type of submissions. You can even go back and view your what submissions you've turned in, your rubric, and if there's any comments that your teacher has given you. You can see all that by tapping on submission and rubrics. So let's take a look at what I've included. Um, I've got my description where this is where your teachers usually give you all your directions of what you're to do. I've got a link for the PDF, a link for an image, and then I've also got an embedded image here. So the first thing we're going to do is work on the PDF file. So I'm going to tap on that link and it's going to open up here. There are two different ways you can edit a PDF that is built into Canvas and then saving it on your iPad. The first tool is inside of Canvas. It's this marker tool right here. I'm going to tap on that and you're going to get this sidebar that pops up. Now this sidebar has a lot of different options. This top one is like your selector tool. So if I'm tapping, it's not doing anything because it's a selector. Your second is your text box. So if I want to come in here and it's got my name is, I can come in here and add my name. And now there it is. I can always tap back on it. I can come in here, do this. I can edit the style if I want it to be in red, if I want the text to be larger. You can change all those features, okay? The next tool right here, this is your marker or pen feature. You can come down here once you select it and you can say how thick you want it, your colors. So I can do all of that. And so I can write in all of my information. So I can do it that way as well. If you wanna highlight important information, that is the tool that's located right here. Again, you can change how thick you want it and you can even change your different colors. So if I want to use orange, you've got those options where you can kind of come in here and annotate and work with your teacher if they want you to highlight. The next tool, this is your magic tool. It's pretty cool if you're trying to draw shapes. If I wanted to, you know, make a funny photo of myself drawing it this way, I can come in here, do this, and it'll make nice clean shapes for you. So you have that option where it'll make those nicer, cleaner shapes for you if you want to do it that way. You've got the arrow tool, which is right here. I can change those colors, how thick it is, all of that again. I have those options and it's just kind of a drag and move option. If I want to erase items, my eraser tool is going to be built in right there. I can come in here. I see that I've got my eraser and I, all I have to do is come in and I do this right here. It erases pin marks and it erases highlighters, but you'll notice it does not erase the smart shapes, the text, anything of that sort. The way you do that is you're coming back to your selector tool and you just tap on it and you can see you've got your style, edit, copy, delete. All I need to do is tap on those and I can remove them. So that is the easy way to do it right there. So you can do this version, which is your built-in. Once you're finished, you know, you can tap on the X and it closes it out. And then the second way is saving it on your iPad. I'm gonna tap on that share icon that's located right here. And I've got the option of save to files. So I'm gonna tap right there to save to files. I'm gonna select, I want this to be on my iPad. You can make new folders by tapping here. So you can make one for math, science, whatever you wanna do. And I've already made one for home for NVA home. You can come in here and rename this if you wanted to. So if I know this is all about me, I can get rid of those plus signs and I can even put my name with it. So the teacher knows it's from me. So I wanna do it like that and I'm gonna tap on done. And so I can rename it all about me, Courtney. And I'm gonna tap on where I wanna save it, which in this case, I wanna do it in home. And I'm just gonna save. Now you're thinking, where do I go to find this? If I go back to my home, you have a folder that says files. I'm going to tap on that and you can see on my iPad, there is my home and I can see my document right here. And you have markup features in your document built in. 
And so it is that circle with the marker in here. You've got all of these tools. You've got your pencil, a highlighter, um, the eraser tool. You've got a ruler built in. And if you tap on the plus icon, you can see you can add text boxes. You can magnify the screen to see better. And you've got some shapes you can add in. So you have all of these options where if I tap and go, I can change the color, the thickness, and I can draw on it just like what I did in the other one. So when I'm ready to turn it in in my files, we're going to share it again. And what's really cool is if I tap on that share, because I saved it from Canvas, if I tap on student for Canvas again, watch what happens. It will fill in what class it goes to, what assignment it's in. You can add additional um, assignments and text, and you can hit submit. And it's turned in. So let's go back into Canvas, and I'm going to refresh my page. And look at this, it now says successfully submitted. I turned in my work from the files because I tapped on that. So it's pretty cool. So let's try our next one of how do I do it with an image link? It's the same process. I'm gonna tap on it and it's gonna open up in this page and I'm going to use that share tool. Well, where what am I gonna do with it? I wanna save that image. It's gonna ask, do you wanna allow it? You are gonna select OK. And now you've got that picture. Let's go into my photos. If I come in here, it's right here. That image that you saved is right here. And if I want to mark it up, I'm going to tap on edit. And you can see right here, I've got this pen tool. Again, you've got all of those features where I can select, I can highlight, I can draw shapes, I can write on it. I'm just going to press done and it saves all that information for me. I'm going to press done and if I'm ready to turn it in, we're going to do it just like a file and I'm going to select that share arrow and again, I'm going to select student or canvas because give it a second, it'll load and it will automatically fill in again what class it's for, what assignment it needs to be turned in. And again, you can add in comments. So I'm going to say image one because that's how I did it for this time. And I'm going to submit. I, now it's turned in. So if I go back into Canvas, look at that. I submitted it again. I set this so I could do multiple ones. And you notice that the time for submission changed because I uploaded another one. So if I come into the third version, if you have a big picture like this one right here, if I tap and hold with my finger, you're going to get this little pop-up box. And again, guess what we're going to do? We're going to add it to our photos. Now, if I go into my photos because I want to work on it in there, I'm going to come back out. So you see my other version. Well, here's my new blank one I just saved. And again, we're going to go into our edit features. I'm going to select markup. And I can come in here and do all my projects, whatever I need to do, turn all that work in, however I want to get it done. I'm going to select done with the markup, done editing my picture. I'm going to go into share. And again, we're going to select the Canvas student app. Give it a second to load. And again, it will attach it to the class and the assignment that it was found from. And I'm going to submit. So you have all of those options built directly in where it makes it a lot easier. And again, it loads. I got the confetti saying, hey, I turned my work in. And again, if you want to ever review what you've turned in, tapping on that submission and rubric, you can see, look at this. I've turned in that PDF image here. I've got that image I turned in there. There's that PDF, all of those items that I turned in are built directly in here. If I wanted to add a comment, I finish this, I have questions, all of that will pop in here. And when your teacher replies to you, you have that built in as well. So you have all of this information built directly in where that should make working on PDFs and images in your assignments a whole lot easier and making sure you turn in the right thing.